Welcome, my name is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO, and I'm excited that you decided to join us on today. I'm excited that this information is reaching you and that it, it will be beneficial to your life. What I want to talk to you today is about don't have your dreams snatched away from you. And that can really mean a lot of different things, but I'm going to put it very clear cut on what I'm talking about and what I want it to do for your life. Simply dodge the dream snatchers. Now this world is filled with, really in my opinion, more negative than it is positive, televised. So a lot of you turn on TV at any given time, you're going to see and hear more negative content being televised or, or publicized than you will hear positive content. Now, I do believe that there is much more positive content in the world being done, being talked about than it is, you know, to, to most exposures to, to the world and on the masses. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to dodge and don't have your dreams snatched away by putting yourself and filling your mind with negative uh, content and just negative people in a negative environment. You're doing a great thing by starting to watch, you know, our information that we're putting out, watching this video in particular, you know, giving you guidance, giving you help, giving you uh, motivation in order to, to continue to move forward in a way that's going to help you not have your dreams stolen away by this negative content that is being publicized in so many fashions. So one way that you can not have your dreams snatched away is shift your mentality, you know, shift your thinking and look at things that is going to be positive. So, you know, if you walk into a room and, you, you know, you hear someone talking about, you know, your coworker, or, you know, you hear someone talking about how they didn't like how that meeting went and just really downing someone, you know, that it alone right there can change your direction of how your day can go out. So there's been many times when I was working in corporate America that, you know, I would walk into the office or, you know, I would, you know, hear those type of conversations and I would just simply, you know, get my things and move to a conference room to where I can have a clear, positive, focused environment so the work that I was working on, I could get done and be efficient in that task. And you may have to do the same thing as well. So, you know, your dreams, your goals, or how you wanted that day to go for you doesn't get snatched away from you. Simple things like that is what I mean by dodge the dream snatchers and really don't have your dream snatched away from you. So another area that, you know, I'm going to talk about is, you know, if you're wanting to start a business or if you're wanting to, you know, do something great in life or if you want to, you know, get into real estate or, you know, say you want to, you know, learn the stock market, whatever it may, may be, whatever your respective area that you will want to do, you're probably going to have some people in your life, in your environment currently right now to tell you not to do it or that you can't do it or, or it can't be done. I'm telling you, remove them out of your life. Remove them out of your situation because really what they're telling you is their personal opinion, their personal beliefs of what they can't do, they're now trying to put on you. And the one thing you never want to do is let someone else values, let someone else personal opinions or situations become a burden to you. You always want to remain holding your power of choice and you always have that power. You may not always be able to control what happens to you, but you can always control how you respond, how you grow, how you look at it, and how you move forward from whatever happens. So be encouraged to do those things because you always have that power in order to not have your goals, your dreams, your aspirations to be snatched from you because you can move. You have the power of going wherever you want to go. So focus on that this time. Focus on that this week. Focus on that this, this year. Not having your goals and your dreams snatched away from you. I'm here to be on the opposite side. There's probably going to be less people in your environment, in your area, telling you that you can do it, that you can be great, that you can be positive, and that you can move forward and elevate to a higher level of life. But the main thing is you have to believe it. You have to take action on it and you can do it. 
So share this information with someone because if it inspired you, it can inspire million, millions of more. It can inspire someone that is needing this uplift information, that is needing this elevation, not having their goals and their dreams snatched or someone telling them what they can and they cannot do because it happens every single day. So remove yourself from that environment, remove those people from your life, and if you can't necessarily really remove them, minimize them, put precautions, put things and obstacles in the way to where your contact with them is much, much minimized than it would be if you wouldn't do so. So I'm excited to hear about how this information it has, has and will transform your life, how you look at you know, going forward in business, how you look going forward in finances and, and real estate or whatever area that you're looking to focus on with your family, your friends, and just simply not having your goals, not having your dreams snatched from this negative content that is being publicized much more than our positive content. Continue to plug in. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, wherever we're, we're publicized socially, uh, pictures, we're all the way out there, and we can feel your environment with that positive content that you really need. So as always, and I'll continue to say it, you have what you say now. If you believe it now, it is truly yours to have now. The power of life and death is in the tongue, more importantly in the mind, but first one must believe in the heart. I believe that you can put things in your mind to transform your life, to elevate your life in much higher heights than you've ever seen before. So I'm looking forward to, again, hearing back from you, looking forward to hearing how it will help you and how it will help people in your network. As always, take care, be productive, be proactive, and be proficient in everything that you do. Talk to you soon.